Okay, so this is a, uh, a flow rate test of the max flow rate test of the new Galileo 2 extruder. I've already done this once, but it's uh, and the prints look amazing. They 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 look better than the stock uh, mini self printer. But <coughs> I was getting a I was missing steps at uh, like twenty millimeters cube a second, and the mini self printer, which is this the stock set, which is that one there. That one flowed. I had to <laughs> scavenge the, the the fans and the hot end out of this one. This one flowed 55 millimeters cubed a second, which is is significantly faster. Uh, and that one is supposed to flow. Got that one's actually got a gearbox and it's supposed to have more torque. But uh, it. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna film it. This could be a very long and boring video. <laughs> And that's in the Orbiter 2 configuration, which I don't really like because it's not centered. I mean, the Voron logos are centered, but the mounting isn't. I've got another one made by <coughs> that this, uh, this guy, Hart, Hart K, made. And it's it's small. It's a little smaller, and it's at least centered. So I'll, I'll build it. I'll build that one out, too. Let's do this. Oh, Here we go. Look at him. He said, I'm trying, Papa. I'm trying, Papa. Oh, God, the skirt takes forever to print. Oh, this is going to be so boring. I am sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> the skirt takes like five minutes to print. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'll cut this and start it back. <laughs> okay, I think we're coming up on it here. Five minutes. Oh, I was wrong. I'm so silly. We have some more skirt to go. This should be the one. Let's go, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay, now it's going. Now the actual speed test is going. So this is 15 millimeters cubed a second. So we're going to have to listen carefully. And listen with me. As we listen for steps, although those fans are loud as crap. You can hear it speed up every second run, every second track run. Actually, I don't know when it speeds up, to be honest. It's not like it's speeding up every track run, but it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 millimeters. And I guess the layer, I don't know what the layer height is set to. It's not, it can't be any more than 0.28, so it should be every two track runs. I don't hear any skips yet. And we're probably at about, I don't know, 17. I didn't put the knob on it, on it, or you, or you can see the extruder extruding. And you, oh, and it's hard to see that, that I've got a Prusa roll in there and it's hard to see. Oh yeah, you can see the, on the back one, on the back there, you can see the honeycomb thing spinning. That's it. That's a filament being fed in. So what's fits I mean, 15 millimeters cube a second is, I mean, you know, for now, today, it, that's that's a good, that's a decent speed. You know, four years ago, that was insanely fast. You know, now 60 is insanely fast. Well, 60 is cr crazy fast. The speedboat racers are, they're going, they're going 90 to 100. Oh, the park cooling fans are on 75%. That's what that noise is. The hot end fan is loud enough as it is, but that park, those park cooling fans, those are 
Honey Badger fans with whipping at 13,000 KRPM. The last test, they started at 25 millimeters cubed a second and it started skipping almost immediately, which was shocking because I went, I went, I think at 55 millimeters cubed a second, I got my first, you know, kind of rough run with the mini stealth burner and it, I stopped it. it. Actually, it was set for 60 as a max. It went all the way to 60 millimeters cubed a second and never skipped. And I'm using the exact same hot end that I did on that test. It could be that it just the gearbox just needed to break in, and this is a part of the break. I'm breaking it in right this very second. Because that's about, what is that, maybe, I don't know, seven or eight millimeters? So, I think that means it's going about 20, 21 or 22 millimeters cube a second right now. I could be wrong, but we should get skips here. If it's anything like the last test. I mean, the layers look amazing. I mean, they much, much, much more consistent and cleaner and even than the mini self burner but I really wanted better flow too, uh, a lot. You know, although 55 is crazy fast. I at least wanted the same flow. Oh, I'm just getting tired. There we go, switch hands. And it's, peel, it's peeling some plastic off the spool, baby. The top end, I think I had it at uh, 30 maybe, or 35. Now, I won't lie, I will be tickled silly if this goes all the way to 35 and doesn't skip a step. There's one. Yeah, you got an artifact right there. Right, it just went over the artifact right there. There was another skip step right there. I didn't hear it though. Oh, my phone, will you please focus? You making me look like an idiot here. There's, you can see, you can see the artifact right there. So, yeah, it's, it's skipping at about the same point and that's, uh, and it just gets worse from there. So, oh, you have to, so what you do is you measure, you measure the height of the, the line and then you, in millimeters, and then you go look in the slicer to see where, what it says the speed is at that point. Or you could do the math too, but it's just easier to look at. Look at all those skip steps there on everyone, Let's skip them like crazy again. Ugga bugga. I would film that, but I can't do it with one hand. So, shucks. Love you, bye.
I was all ready to, to <clears throat> post this video when uh, Chippy on the Voron Discord uh, replied that he bumped his uh, run current from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 amps. And I thought, I thought yeah, I'll, I'll give that a try. So I did that and I started this one for to conserve time. I, I started this one at 25 millimeters cubed a second. We'll see what happens. And there's the, there's Hart K's uh, version of the Galileo two printed parts. Uh, and I'll build, I'll build, uh, I'll build that one out too. Uh, Cause I like that one looks really nice. I printed that yesterday. So here we go, baby, here we go. Let's go speed racer. Now, another thing that could happen here is that if my gearbox is still tight and unbroken in, that motor could get crazy hot, which would not be good at all. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, it's okay, buddy. I know you're just trying your little heart out. And I appreciate you for it, Tiger. Oh, my arms are retired. <laughs> well, no skips yet. I had skips at this point before, so... I mean, you know, bumping the current up will definitely help the motor not skip. I should have asked Schlonky. He's a, he said he ran... Oh, he said he went to 25 without any trouble. And I'm... Oh, well, that was unexpected. I don't know what happened there. The motor isn't hot at all. That is, and the screen is locked. So there was a clipper, the clipper, clipper hiccup. I will, uh, I will go investigate. Be back in a second. Okay, so it was a, <clears throat> it was a uh, heater, the heater, the, the heater was unable to, it didn't, it wasn't heating the nozzle at a rate that it was expecting, and that can cause the uh, clipper to, to choke, freak out, like, which it did. So I'm going to restart the firmware here, and I'm going to run a PID tune, because I think the last hot end I used here was a... Uh, it was uh, just a, a clone of, a, of an E3D. So come down here. Oh, there's no, oh, let me try this one over here. There should be history here. The console, I don't wanna have to learn. There we go, okay, pig caliber, okay. So what this does is it, is it will heat the hot, let me move the bed down too. Uh, oh, come on. Oh my goodness gracious, being crazy. Uh, it will heat the nozzle up to, two, this one I'm doing it at 270. It will heat it up to 270 and then turn the, turn the power off. You can see it right there. It will turn the power off and let it cool down. It, 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 it learns how the nozzle behaves. Uh, and then it, it sets a proportional, integral, and derivative calculations to keep the nozzle at a steady temperature during printing. It's actually quite a fascinating process. You can see there, oh, see there, it's varying the temperature. And on the graph, that, that red line is the nozzle, nozzle temperature. So I will do this and I will retry that. So here we go again. Let's go, buddy. You got this. You got this, Tiger. Oh my God. It's the skirts. <laughs> That's funny. So let's just take another look at the Hart K's 
version of the Galileo 2. That is just, he did such a good job designing that. I love it. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the nozzles. Okay, 259. 259, the nozzle's still 259. As it speeds up, it will be harder to keep the nozzle warm. It should be 260, so it's uh, 258. Seven two fifty six two fifty. What the heck is going on here? He jumps in nozzle man. Oh, that's really interesting. It's gonna shut off here if it goes down below. I think it goes below two forty. It'll shut off. It'll that, that'll throw a clipper warning. It should, I mean, it should be at 100% heating capacity right now. And if it is, that means there's something wrong with the heater or the wire or the, it could be a gazillion different things that could be wrong. What does it say? Two, 250, it's still going down. There it goes. Bonk! That is really, really, that's, that's, that's I mean, it's irritating, of course, but, you know, if you, if you choose to look at it slightly differently, it's also very interesting. And that's how I'm going to choose to look at it. I'll be back in a second. So this time we're going to sit. We're going to sit here and watch the watch the uh, metrics go across. So there's the that's the model I'm printing right there for the speed test, and I'm going to print it. Send it to the print yeah. Uh, and then uh, I can you know we'll switch over here to the device tab. And we can, I put the, I put the lid down so the camera, so the camera is shooting in there. There's some reflections, but we can still, we can still see it. And here you can see, that's where the print started right there. And you can see this, the temperature of the nozzle slowly declining until the clipper error, and then it, you know, plummeted. And then, uh, that's the PID test right there. And then here is the second attempt we just made. And it's the steadily declined again until it, bonk, and then, you know, dropped off. So, uh, and what we're going to be watching is up here, we're going to be watching for the power percentage. I thought that was, okay, so, yeah, I thought that was, yeah, that can't be the power of the not, because it's not, it doesn't stay at 100% the whole print. Let's look at the, let's look at uh, main sales. Oh, it basically shows the same. This is the same information displayed by a slightly different uh, developer. Uh, so, no, that's not it. Uh, okay, so it's, you know, it's the bed is heating, now the nozzle is heating, and it's going to start printing here in a second. But let's just, uh, let me show you this real quick, too. So here, uh, this is by line type. So if we come down and we change that to flow it gives us a, a flow diagram. So, so, you know, dark blue is 0.34 millimeters cube a second. You know, light blue is 6.2. So, so I'm starting this at 25 millimeters cube a second, going up to, fit, fit, I think it was 35. So, you know, and you can, like, you can grab this thing here. And you can drag that down. So what you do is you measure you measure how far it got, and then it tells you the layer line there, and then the millimeter height of the of the of the model. So you come down to you find the layer that it it froze at, and let's just say let's say it stops at layer eighty. So then we can come along here, and let's say it's let's say we we saw a, a nick there. We grab this guy here. We drag the tool head back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> uh, drag it a little forward. Uh, okay, that, that's good enough. So there, and then we can see that the flow, the flow at that point is 37 point. Yeah, that'd be right. 37.72 millimeters cubed a second. Uh, so that, that's how you do that. It's a... Uh, it's so neat. I mean, I, I just, I mean, come on, give me a break. How can this not, I mean, how could it possibly get any neater? I'm sure it will, but I mean, it's super duper.
duper, super duper neat. Oh my gosh, we gotta wait for the skirts. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. And this, this interface here is called Fluid. And it is a standard clipper interface uh, uh, um, used main, uh, on Vorons. And the other one that I was looking at is called Mainsail. That one there. That's called Mainsail. It's also a clipper interface, which it, I believe it just displays the data coming from the Moonraker middleware, which is the is the code that interfaces with actual Clipper operating system and puts it in a format that can then be displayed over a web browser, which this basically is here. And uh, Clipper, I mean, uh, Mainsail here and Fluid here are ways of uh, web servers that serve it. There's also Octoprint, uh, but and it has a lot of plugins and stuff, but I don't really like that interface very much. And you can come down here. Oh, actually, I, I don't know where it is in Fluid. I like the, I, I just recently started using Fluid in, uh, let's go to Mainsail. In Mainsail, you can come to here and you can look here and you can, it can, up, it can update your, uh, your, your, your packages. I can update the operating system too, for that matter. So we can check for, oh, it's already, to, oh, I guess maybe this is, it's printing. I don't know. It uh, yeah. It can it can you know do up and stuff. So it's it's printing. So let's go look. Let's go look. Okay. So the okay. So it's at a hundred percent output, and the temperature is. Yeah, there's something wrong with the. That should not have any trouble keeping that nozzle hot. There's something wrong with my heater or something. I'm, I'm not gonna let that, I'm not gonna let that continue. So I'll have to troubleshoot that. Uh, but we can see that that got maybe, what layer was that on? That layer 16? So now we can go back over here. Layer 16. And we come down to layer 16 here. 10 more layers. 16 layers. So we were running 29.97. And I didn't hear any skips. So, uh... I will go troubleshoot my, my heater problem. And I will probably end this video for now because... Uh, it's getting really long. Love you back.